Hi everyone, it's maths time again. Well, we are looking at position again today. And what are we going to be looking at? Well, I'm going to see if you can help me today. I've got a little bit of a problem. Uh, my daughter borrowed my thongs, which can happen in families, I'm sure it might, might have happened to you sometime. And she hasn't brought them back and she thinks that she actually left them where she went. Now, I'm not too sure exactly where that is but before she went to school she was really nice and she made me a little map uh, she drew one for me and she also uh, wrote me some instructions so maybe you can help me look at the instructions and the map to see if we can find my thongs again hopefully they're still there well everyone here's my map that she drew me and here's the list of instructions as well to go with it just in case i don't know exactly how to read one or the other and i wonder which is going to be the most helpful gee i wonder where we start i know where i start on this one start at the top well the thongs are over here so that's probably not where we start so where do you think we start Maybe this picture. What do you think? Yes, you think so? All right. Well, on the map, that's probably where we're starting. What does it say? Can everyone see that? Turn left out of the driveway. Okay. Well, here's the driveway. That kind of looks like where we're supposed to be. And we have to turn left. What does that mean? I have to turn left. Well, this is my driveway. So, should I head this way? Or <coughs> should I head that way? What does left mean? Hmm, I think I remember someone telling me something about my thumb and fingers. And something to do with L. Because what's the first letter of the word left? L, that's right. And if I put that hand that way, it makes that symbol. If I put this hand this way, which one is the one that's the L? This one? No, that'd be back to front, wouldn't it? So it's this way. So this hand, so it must mean that we go this way. All right. And she said, go straight on the road till you get to the next cross street. Okay. Well, I'm coming up to the intersection now. Here is the crossroad and it says turn right. So, does that mean to go this way? Or does it mean to go that way? Or that way? Oh dear, okay. You think that way? No. This way. All right, we will go this way. Well, I've gone down the path, gone down the road. That's where I came from. And what does it say next? Because I'm almost to the end of this corner. It says, go straight on the road until you get to the path. Ah, okay. So here's the path over here. That looks a bit like maybe this spot here. Hmm. All right, here's the path, but what do I do now? All right, it says, turn left onto the path. So again, which way? Should I go this way? You don't think so? This way. I think you might be right. That's the L that we were looking at before. So L is my left hand so that is pointing that way you're right excellent all right we'll walk along it says follow the path to the stairs all right i'll go on this path now well i'm almost to the stairs there they are okay and then it says go down the stairs all right, so that must be that part there. 
go down the stairs and after that we continue on the path all right so we'll go down the stairs well do you think that i'm going to find them i hope that i do then continue on the path so i'm going to go on the path a bit more there's the path there wasn't any other path was there nope it's the only path so i'll go along here well the path is coming to the road what does it say about when that path finishes down the stairs continue on the path cross the road oh very carefully okay and we've got some other instructions so i wonder where we are now where do you think maybe you can pause it and see if someone can point to where you think we are on the map okay here we go here's the intersection so it does say to go straight but we do need to be very careful looking both ways look right and look left nothing coming and we cross the road So, I cross the road carefully. Now it says, don't do something. Don't do what? Don't go right. Which way is that again? This way. Okay, so don't go that way. But, go straight on the path. And what's the last instruction? look behind the barbecue oh i think i can see the barbecue from there fantastic all right so i'll go along the path there's the path and we're coming to the barbecue now where did it say in the barbecue it said hmm well it's not here Am I looking in the right place? No, I'm not. This is, where is this? This is not behind the barbecue, is it? No, it's in front of the barbecue. Maybe it's over here. No, it's not there. Oh dear. I think maybe it's not here. What? Am I looking in the wrong place? Oh, look, I think you're right. That's fantastic. They were still here. The thongs were behind the barbecue. Well, everyone, thank you so much. That was really helpful. I don't know if I would have been able to figure out what was the left and the right without really thinking hard and, and listening to your instructions. So if you remember your left hand has the L when you think and the other hand doesn't have the L so that would be your right exactly so turning left and turning right well oh, she gave some excellent words does anyone remember some of those instruction words we had left we had right and we had words like turn we had go straight words like until you get to wow these are very important words that she's included down what could have been the opposite of going down that's right going up follow we said follow the path but it could be something else you might have to cross something. So these are all fantastic words for direction. And the position was behind. Where else did I look? That's right, I looked in front of the barbecue. I also looked beside. That's right, I looked beside the barbecue. It might have even been on top of the barbecue and we can
can even find things underneath, but not of the barbecue. There was no space, was there? So, before I head off back home, it is now time for your challenge. So, your challenge will be to make up your own hide and seek. So you're going to either with a partner or with maybe a group of three, one of you will find a small object, not too tiny and not too big, and you're going to think of a place to put it. Now it might be in your classroom, it might be in your home, it might be outside in the playground or in a park, and you're going to put it somewhere while the other person's not looking. So remember being honest, otherwise the game won't work. You're going to put it there and then you're going to have to write or draw some instructions. So you're going to either draw a map like my daughter did or you're going to write some instructions. Now if you can't do either of those and your teacher or your parent allows, you can tell the person bit by bit where where it is by giving them the instructions. So remember your direction words and your position words. Well, I hope you have lots of fun hiding and finding things. Well, until next time.